limp mode, default mode, low power mode, D-rate mode, emergency mode, the list goes on. It seems like in the forums these days, many keyboard warriors use limp mode. It's kind of this huge blanket statement to describe anything that causes your sprinter to run like garbage. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of things that cause your sprinter to run like shit. However, limp mode is just one of the few. Here's three definitions you can use to help you figure out what's going on. First one, limp home mode, not to be confused with limp in mode. All right, limp home mode is a engine related issue. The key defining characteristic is an RPM limitation, usually set to 3000. So if your RPMs go above 3000, sorry, you're not in limp home mode. All right, so we got an engine issue. Number two, limp in mode is a transmission related issue. Defining characteristics, your van won't shift gears. You can go reverse, you can go forward and second gear, but that's it. Your van's not gonna automatically shift. You could redline the shit out of those RPMs, but you're not really gonna be able to go over 40 miles an hour because your van won't shift. Okay, engine issue, check. Transmission issue, check. Next we have D-rate mode which is an emissions related issue. Basically, your van's computer thinks there might be something wrong with your emissions, so it decides to limit your speed to five miles per hour. Your dash will read something like this. It'll either say starts left, zero, starts left, idle, something to that extent. The defining characteristic is you won't be able to go above five miles an hour, even though you have a perfectly healthy engine and transmission, okay? Now, I want you to forget everything I just told you because at the end of the day when you go on the forums and whatnot there seems to be a lot of confusion around the definitions of these different terms the best thing you can do if you want accurate assistance is to describe what's going on and not necessarily stick a label on it for instance vehicle runs like crap RPMs don't go above 3000 another example vehicle can go forward and backwards but it won't shift gears a lot of people know sprinters can help you track down what's going on just from that example alone. And as always, fix your own shit.